Afternoon. Um, I'm glad to be here around you folks. Like uh, Jackie said, you feel like you feel like the choir, but the choir needs preaching too, also, yeah, right? right. Needs, right. We need to be stored up. Yeah. We need to remind each other that we're not the only ones out here yeah. thinking this way. So thank you all for being here. Think about the family, the person next to you. We're all family. The tree is our family, and you know what? Actually, the governor is our family. The resident is our family. So let's remember, it's all about family coming together. So Sunrise is a great example of what can be done around the country. 260 cities today celebrating the climate strike. 260 cities. That is no little uh, deal, deal there. So. Uh, I understand that uh, the mayor and the uh, senators and all want to have a, a detailed plan of what Sunrise is all about. We have that, but I think what they want is us to put it in our own words for Nashville specifically. Even though we want to be consistent around the country, our, our leadership here wants it to come from here. They want it to be a, a locally born project, I guess. So we're gonna work on that. We're gonna find those, we're gonna make those agreements, these demands, not agreements, these demands real in our own voices so they will hear from us, all right? So like uh, Carolina said, I'm uh, with Earth Matters Tennessee. Uh, we're a concerned group of individuals who are building healthier communities through GRACE. And GRACE is an acronym for gardening, recycling, action, composting, and education. All right? And we had, you know, had to make that happen. So the, um, here's our, our logo. Thanks to my friend Reese with responsive. Yeah, that's our newer, newest logo. We um, we sort of have a double identity. We're New Earth Matters, and we're Earth Matters. We've been around since 1992, y'all. So we've been around a long time. Yeah. So teaching sustainable sustainability and sustainable growing practices are what we do. Now, talking about sustainability, the issue is, sorry to tell you all, we failed. We have failed at sustainability. We've been talking sustainability for 30 or 40 years and it hasn't happened. And what is sustainability but the ability to sustain? Have we done it? No. no. So y'all remember 350 is still a very active organization. 350 parts per million was yeah. the amount of parts per million of carbon in our atmosphere we could, we could hold. Well, guess how many we're up to now? 341. Four, over 400. And we're, we're in a way, in a, in a space where the air, the asthmas, the allergies are all high at very, very high rates. So it's real important that we say, well, what are we going to replace sustainability with? In permaculture, we replace sustainability with adaptation and resilience. So those are the words that we need to start using in our new society. Granted, we want sustainable agriculture, but we also want resilient agriculture. Yes. We want sustainable, you know, we want uh, adaptive agriculture. Yes. So all this great news coming out now, we've got to remember the yin and the yang. It's a lot of bad news, but it's good news coming out for meat eaters. Who want the impossible burger? <laughs> Who want the impossible sausage? It's an alternative. It's plant-based. Yes. And it's a good thing. Let's, give, let's go ahead and give it a round of applause because people need an alternative to me. And we need to be eating more. Well, I'm getting all that. <laughs> but what we're doing is three things that Earth Matters and for our, for our city, and we'd like you to consider to, to uh, join us. One, we're doing our third harvest composting project. Third harvest. So food, Waste in Nashville is at an all-time high. All these tourists, all these hotels, all these convention centers, all these event centers, all these weddings, all these bachelorette parties are all throwing away humongous amounts of food. So what are we going to do? We're going to let them continue to throw it away? No. 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 We're going to provide technology for them 
to reclaim this food. So that's what Third Harvest is about. And I'm proud to announce that we have got a mini grant from the uh, Atticus Foundation to kick that off this, up, you know, this holiday season for the holiday parties. Okay, so Third, Har Third Harvest is our, our, one of our new programs. We have an upcycling network at Knowles Senior Center, working with older people. So we want them, get, we have to learn from our elders. So we have like 40,000 pounds of leather that we're trying to distribute. So if you know anybody that wants leather, they're formerly uh, airplane seats, right, Roland? They're formerly Southwest Airlines seats. And we have a bunch of them. So if you know anybody who wants to upcycle that, I need to get that commercial in. Green collar jobs. What's it, when, we, when we go to our new, transfer to our new economy, our new green economy, people need to be trained. So let's come together and start getting those trainings ready because we know we have to do that. So how, and they're not green jobs. Let's remember, it's green collar jobs because they've, they've taken the word green jobs and they've greenwashed it. So whenever you talk about green jobs, say green collar jobs. And that's part of my program with Green for All based in Oakland, California. So uh, agriculture arts, textile arts, all these things for our young people to make all kind of great products, all these buildings that are closing, the malls that are closing, the hotels, the motels that are closing can all be repurposed for our new Green Deal. We have to make it happen. We will make it happen. Okay? So uh, the ecosystem in Nashville is, is interesting because we've got huge yards, and we have, you know, just great, everything grows. So people are cutting their grass regularly, and they have big yards, so they're not that interested in doing a community garden thing. But now that the new Nashville is here, I don't hear any boos, that's good. Uh, let's adapt. Let's look at vertical gardening up and down the side of these buildings. Let's look at rooftop gardening. We have to make food and healthy food for people. The average piece of food travels 1,400 miles before it gets to your dinner plate. So think about what you had to eat if you're an average eater. That, whatever you ate, traveled 1,400 miles before it got to your plate instead of 14 feet out your back door, right? So that's what Earth Matters is about. We're glad we got invited to be here. Let's remember, as the temperature rises, so do we. As the temperature rises, so do we. As the temperature rises, so do we. Thank you. God bless you all. Check us all out online. We love you. What's up, Nashville? Give it up again for Sisway. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Magnolia Gramling. I just moved to Nashville from not that far away.